people, my name is Janesh Kotak and I am from Ahmedabad University. Today I am going to talk about some interesting fallacy and arguments. Arguments are seen on the internet very often. No, no, no. Arguments are seen everywhere. Sometimes you find that people go to internet just to argue. But that is good thing, right? Uh, arguments gives us some information, creates understanding. And the main point of argument, argument is to create understanding, right? And not persuasion. A logical fallacy that is bandwagon fallacy. You must be thinking that what is fallacy? Uh, fallacy is a misconception or an unsound argument made by the people. Uh, we commit a lot of fallacies every day, unknowingly. And the best part of the fallacy is that if we want to stop or know that we are committing fallacy, we can't know it. <coughs> that why, that's why it is important to study the fallacy. We commit a lot of fallacy argument every day. The fallacy is an uh, study of fallacy is an application of critical thinking. By studying the fallacy, we would be able to avoid them, and also we would be able to point out the fallacies and other arguments. Fallacies are used are used by the opposition to make us stronger against us, intentionally, unintentionally, or to deceive us. Uh, fallacy is a example. Fallacy is a bad argument, but not all the bad arguments are fallacies. We can know that it is a fallacy by certain instances, and certain uh, and by it we can say that it is a bad argument. So I am giving an example of a fallacy. Four billion people believe that God exists, but so I do believe that God exists because this many people are saying that God exists. Means do God exist? But this is a fallacy. This is a bad argument. Right? This many people is saying that God exists doesn't make it right that the God exists. There is no certain proof that many people are saying that the God exists which will not change the reality that God exists or not. It was an example of man running fallacy. Now let's take a again second example. It's okay to die on taxes as everybody knew it so. This is again an example of bandwagon fallacy. This is not true because it is not morally correct that everybody is dying on taxes. It doesn't mean so you, you should also die on taxes. This is morally incorrect. What if in your town everybody practices slavery? You would practice, practice it too? No, right? So you should not be argue this type of the, uh, like these type of examples. This is again, uh, this is a band wagon. Suppose, Sam is my roommate and he asked me to lend my vehicle to him. As he is my roommate, I lented him my vehicle. So when he returned home, he gave me my vehicle and I saw that the tire of my vehicle was punctured. So I blamed Sam that he, 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 he punctured my tire. He took my vehicle, he rode, he caused it. So he's responsible for it, right? No. The way I am blaming Sam that he punctured my tire was wrong. That I cannot blame Sam without proper information and evidence that he broke my tire, he punctured my tire. There can be many reasons that my tire got punctured. That my tire was defective, that was not proper, or that was not proper air on my tire. So, due to this reason, my tire can be punctured. So, on that day, anybody, Sam, me, or somebody else, whoever took my vehicle, the tire was gone away punctured. Then this type of fallacy is known as post hoc, and we shouldn't commit this type of fallacy. And this type of fallacy we see on day to day life. And there are some other examples of fallacies are straw man fallacy, post hoc fallacy, uh, black and white fallacy, etc. etc. Now let's jump to bandwagon. You must be thinking why such name bandwagon? According to some experts, a real politician would come into a wagon with cool bands for the campaign and the supporters would jump on it to show their support. Because of it, the name came bandwagon. Bandwagon is also known as appeal to majority, appeal to masses, ad populum, etc. etc. 
and let's jump to bandwagon. You must be thinking why such name bandwagon? According to some experts, earlier politicians would come into wagon with cool bands for the campaign and the supporters would jump on it to show their support. Because of it, the name came bandwagon. Bandwagon is also known as appeal to majority, appeal to masses, ad populum, etc. etc. Bandwagon fallacy is a logical fallacy. Now you must be thinking what is logical fallacy? Logical fallacy is an invalid argument. Logical fallacy should not be used in the argument because firstly if you use them uh, for purposely or intentionally it would lead to dishonesty in the argument. Secondly uh, it takes away the strength from your argument and makes it weak. Thirdly and the most important reason is that if you use it uh, it would make your audience feel that they use you think that they are not more intelligent. You must be thinking what is bandwagon fallacy. Bandwagon fallacy is a fallacy that if majority of people are saying that this is true, this is this must be true. No, it is false that because if many people are saying it doesn't make it true, we should check the evidence that if they are saying is reliable or not, if it is correct or not. If one people if one person can be wrong, then many person too can be wrong. For example, M is popular. So what M says is true. No, it is a fallacy. You shouldn't believe that. There is no uh, combination or similarity between popularity and truth. If he is popular and he is saying this, it, it doesn't make it truth. It doesn't change the reality. Uh, there is a huge difference between popularity and truth. And we often find difficult to see it. We became victim of this bandwagon fallacy because uh, they are because of the laziness. They do not check. Uh, whether they are saying this true or not or they have blind support or faith on the group of people that they are saying that this is true and because of it they believe them and they become the victim of the bandwagon fallacy now let's take an example of a bandwagon fallacy Real Madrid, bro. Ronaldo was the best player for 2017. Real Madrid is gonna win. For so sure. What? So no what? question about that. So what? It doesn't make. Goal scored by Ronaldo. I was telling you. Wait for Messi. Don't mess with him. Second goal by Ronaldo. I think it's gonna be hat trick. Boom! We won! Give me a clap, buddy! Go, so I won. No, we are not going So I won. No, means I won. You are a Barcelona fan. No, I am a real Madrid fan. Don't you know Madrid is real? It means real Madrid. We were just talking about Messi. I can't talk about it. So you are a Barcelona fan. You said Barcelona is going to win. No, no. I was supporting Real Madrid. When I was a Real Madrid fan. Yeah. Perfect example of bandwagon fallacy. Here, me and my friend is watching a uh, watching a football game where I am supporting Barcelona and he is supporting Real Madrid. But you can see clearly that uh, you can see that at one point of time when Real Madrid is winning, I am changing my team to Real Madrid from Barcelona because it is winning, it is popular team. So this is a fallacy. This this is called a bandwagon fallacy. Now let's take an example of a bandwagon fallacy. Why are you guys drinking Diet Coke? Everyone in Carmel drinks regular Coke.
Hey, we got regular Cokes. That's cool. Yeah, these are uh, much better than Diet Cokes, yeah. which you have seen is based on college. Uh, there is a group of friends. Uh, they said that in their college the only drink is normal coke and not diet coke. Means the newcomers, the freshers were drinking the diet coke. But as the senior said that in this college the people only people only drink the normal coke. So to follow the trend and to follow the majority, uh, the they all threw the diet coke and started drinking normal coke, which was wrong and it was fallacious. The reason behind it was illogical. There was no reason to throw that diet coke and drink normal coke. Because all the people are doing it, you shouldn't do it. In, in our childhood, our parents always said that all the people are jumping off the cliff. You should cliff. You shouldn't jump, right? Now let's take an example of a bandwagon fallacy. Are you tired of failing your tests? Do you always get caught cheating and get in trouble for it? Are you tired of having to cheat and not being able to pass your tests? Well, guess what? We have a solution for you. Introducing the Magic Pencil. A pencil that will help you pass every test, overcome any obstacles, and help you succeed in life. For only $19.99, you can become the smartest kid in your class. You can get any color you want. Even President Barack Obama uses it. How do you think his speeches were so moving? So stop being lazy. Get up, Get up and buy your pencil today. today. It helps you. It helps your GPA and chances at getting a scholarship. Even your favorite rappers use the pen to write their music themselves. If they can use the pen, then you can use it too. If you want this magical pencil, call this number at 1-800-MAGIC. We will also give you an exclusive offer of three pens for only the price of one. So go out there and tell the parent. You must be 18 or older to purchase the item over the phone or online. Created using Powtoon. An example of pen wagon. Right? Everybody uses that pen and that pen gives you higher marks and scores. Uh, because of this you should also use this pen. No, it is false. No pen can give us higher marks. They have also said that Barack Obama uses that pen too. Because of his, his speeches are too good. No, it is false. No pen can give uh, good, marks, uh, good marks or good speeches. They, it is a clear idea of advertising. advertising. And everybody uses this pen, so we should also use it. Uh, Barack Obama uses it. He is a popular person. He uses it means it is right to use it. It doesn't seem good. 
you shouldn't use it because Barack Obama, Barack Obama uses it. You should have proper information before using it. Like it is an illogical thing to use because Barack Obama uses it. You should use it. This is all about bank wagon pricing. That's it. Hope you have liked it. Do like it, share it, comment it, and always think critically and always stay logical. Bye.